Hey guys, well I'm on another little project here with the old car there and what I'm working on today is this is the well, I gotta be careful with this, I'll show you why, but this is the uh, this is the overhead map light and a little sunglass holder assembly and <laughs> I've been trying to piece this thing back together because what originally happened is these things are plastic of course and kind of uncharacteristic for a Honda they uh, tend to come apart kind of self-destruct right here you see this one's got the this one's got the uh, mounting holes busted out of it and that doesn't normally happen but what does happen is you see this little this little square thing right there in the center that's a switch and there's one on each side for, and there's two lights and those are the map light switches. Well, this one was, since that thing was broken like that, it was kind of hanging down and the switches wouldn't work at all. So uh, I kind of dug into it and it had several problems. Of course, not to mention, we've already talked about that, but what happens to a lot of them is over time is this button, these buttons here are just pieces of plastic and they, you see you got a little clip right there on each side, that's what kind of holds them in. And then uh, this is a, switch it's got a I thought I had one out here but maybe not yeah I can show you over here on this one well anyway I guess I can't either but they just plug in here and they're just like a little, like a little to toggle switch and that's what works the map lights and what happens is uh, right in there where that thing those are actually supposed to kind of those white switches are supposed to kind of slide that way and be retained by that piece of plastic has like a little lip made into it. Well, they always break out. So what happens is, over time, when you're pressing this button down here, this switch thing kind of does this, kind of like that. And when it does that, it starts breaking this right there away, and it breaks. And then this whole board moves, and then the lights don't work anymore because the switch won't actually move far enough to turn on and off it just makes the whole thing move up and down so that's what I've been working on I had to make a couple of repairs with some screws you'll see right here I had to refasten that one and then I had to refasten that so they actually do oops so like I have dogs out I almost got hit a while ago here boy come on doggy Anyway, that works now. They're both working. I'm not going to use them much because it's worth more to me to sit there and have it at least up to the ceiling than it is to have it hanging down. So I'm not going to push my butt. But what I had to do here, though, I, I studied and studied on this, and it's got four little screws that hold this thing in like this. This is what they look like. I just screw into the roof, come up here and hold it. Well, that ain't going to happen anymore because those things being uh, screwed up like that so what I had to end up doing is my idea is this thing is almost flat against the bottom of the roof right here so this is actually velcro this is you know what velcro looks like but this is stuck on there and then this will hopefully stick against the ceiling and hold it up there we'll see it may not work but that was my idea because Otherwise, I've got to fool around and go get longer bolts and find some washers that'll actually fit, which ain't going to be easy because look at that. So you can't, you hardly have any room there. So I may still have to do that, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try this first and see how it works. I bought another one from the junkyard. And note that this one says LX on it. And that's a key thing to remember because LX is. Uh, I don't think you could get a sunroof with an LX. Maybe you could. I don't know. I'm not going to claim either way on that. But I bought another one from the junkyard, and it wasn't in this condition when I bought it. I accidentally dropped it, and you can see what happened to it. <laughs> it's no longer usable, unfortunately, but it wasn't going to be usable in the first place anyway because you'll notice that this one says EX. And of course, those cars had LX. DX, LX, L, uh, EX. You folks up in Canada had EXLs and other stuff like that. We didn't get those. We just had 
we just had DX, which was the base model, and then you had a LX, which is that one, which is the mid model, and then you had an EX, which had uh, the wheels that I put on that car, and usually a sunroof and sometimes leather. But the key thing, though, that screwed me up is you see it's got these little protrusions out right there. Well, I'm not going to make a big event about showing that, but what happened is when I tried to put this thing in before it got smashed, um, it wouldn't fit all the way up against the roof. And I sat there like an idiot working with it for a couple minutes before I realized what was going on and looked at them. And sure enough, this is for a car with a sunroof in it. So it does not fit a solid roof car. So keep that in mind. If you ever have to replace one of these, if you got one with a sunroof, uh, you probably need to get one from a car with a sunroof. If you got one without a car, without a sunroof, pardon me, then you definitely need to get a replacement from a car without a sunroof. So, and if you're wondering where this was made, I'm not trying to throw off on you guys from Canada too much, but. No, you know what? I was mistaken about this. I don't know where this was made. It's got a sticker on it. I saw Canada on here, but I, I don't think no. I don't think so. I think that's a mistake. So never mind, I apologize. Probably has nothing to do with Canada, so uh, uh well, anyway, it's kind of a cheap part for for Honda. So I guess this thing's ready to go back in. I'm gonna try it and see how it works. So uh that's what I'm doing. And I was just checking over some other things with that car. And, uh, sorry about that. Uh, it's, it seems to be in good shape. Uh, I was checking, it seemed like a, it might have had a, a worn out motor mount somewhere, but I've checked them all and they're all okay. So that's not a problem. But I know something else going on. I've already replaced that valve cover gasket, but I'm still getting some leaks on the far end of the engine away from the timing belt under the distributor and first thing I figured was that the distributor was leaking the o-ring was leaking and it may well be but I took the cap off and there's oil inside the distributor cap so there's oil inside the distributor so when that happens usually it's gonna have to have a new distributor put in it because I've got some kind of an internal seal in them which maybe you can replace I'll, I'll look into that but uh, that'll probably be coming up at some point because it's it's leaking a fair amount for a distributor so it's got little drips hanging off the bottom of it but it's a pretty good car seems like for its age and mileage it's hanging in there so so that's what i'm doing guys on a nice saturday we finally got some warm balmy 40 degree weather we had another polar vortex thing come through and we're gonna have another one next week i tell you what this is the coldest winter i can remember I'm tired of it, yeah. You know, like I said, I won't, I'm not picking on anybody, but people that live where it's really cold, like a large part of the winter, I don't know how you stand it. I seriously don't. I mean, I think people that people that live in places like that are just, that's just their, they've never lived anywhere else, and they just don't. That's fine to them, and that's perfectly fine to me. I, don't, I wouldn't dictate to anybody where they live, but gosh almighty, damn, I can't, ugh. I can't take this cold weather. I just shut down, man. I just can't function. I stay sick all winter. I s sneeze and my head's plugged up. <clears throat> so I had that. So I'm ready for some warm weather. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. There goes another resident hitting the speed bump at full speed. See you around.